So this is the first of our N8 uh, comparison videos against some of the hotter selling, similarly priced um, TWS earbuds that we've seen on the market. And one of the things we, we do when we enter an industry or even industries that we're already in, like the car electronics industry, is we always try to engineer and make products that are better than what we perceive to be the competition in the market and deliver uh, audio bliss to more and more customers um, <clears throat> in a more affordable and uh, better way uh, than our competition. So one of the first things that you're gonna see in this comparison is the ergonomics. Before we get into any, any high level details on specifications or feature sets, things of that nature, I'm just gonna show you the basics of ergonomics and what I'm talking about in terms of how it fits into a human ear. Right here is the, the N81s, our black model. Uh, the N82s are our white model. And as you'll see, um, you'll see a nice uh, round curvature that mimics uh, what we'd like to look at with a human ear. And when we pick up our first comparison, uh, this is the uh, Raid Max. Uh, you're gonna notice a really blocky, bulky design that's pretty consistent throughout uh, the comparison here uh, in the $49.99 to $45 range of uh, earbuds. And as you can see, um, the stubby uh, feature actually does not um, go into the human ear um, as well as something like the N81s uh, do. Uh, of course, you also don't have as much um, play with this so it's going to fit a lot better and it's not going to wear your ear out a longer term where this big tip here is really going to start to uh, rub the walls of your ear uh, in a way that's not really conducive for long listening. Um, as we go to the next model we have a, I believe the, the name of the brand again it's uh, probably a, uh, a made in China type of a brand in terms of the advertising and marketing of the company. It's Enact Fire I believe E-N-A-C Fire uh, and you'll see a little bit better of a design that they've got and uh, Actually, we went ahead and put our memory foam tips, they're not included with theirs, on these to actually get a little bit fairer of a test because it's got a similar neck design. But one of the things that we noticed when we were comparing these is actually this, this square design, or this round, I should say, this more rigid design actually doesn't fit into most ears as nice. And what you'll end up having is an earbud that actually falls out because it's almost too small in terms of its design. So again, if you look at it versus the, the N81, you'll see that the, the contours are simply not that of a human ear, so this is gonna be loose and, and typically fall out. We actually put the, the memory foam tips to, to get that audio, but also to get that seal uh, that it was actually lacking out of the box. The other thing that we noticed with these when we were comparing them, and I don't mean to uh, stay on these, but they also have a button design, so that's simply uh, a bit inferior to that of the uh, N81s. So the last of our uh, comparisons actually is probably the highest end of all of the three earbuds that we have here, and that's the T10s. And the T10s claim to be um, IPX8 because they're nano-coated and uh, of that nature, but they're still not for swimming. So we really didn't feel like there's a huge heck of a difference in, in regards to the water resistancy uh, feature because our IPX5 rating allows you to do the same exact things in terms of uh, sweat-proof, gym-proof, if you will, life-proof in, in, in terms of if you dropped it uh, into some water and quickly grabbed it. Uh, so we really didn't notice a lot of features in regards to that uh, being the difference, but we noticed a heck of a lot of differences in regards to audio quality. And again, we, we try to attribute that to different things. Uh, when we look at this, it, again, it has a nice curved neck, so that gets you that same uh, design that the N81s are going to, but it's a little bit more rigid. It's very similar to the Enac Fire piece. Uh, in fact, if we just want to compare these two, it's actually a little bit bigger than the Enac Fire, but you can tell that the shape is very uh, rudimentary and very um, common, if you will, and we see it a lot. Uh, we really think ours is uh, quite a bit more superior in terms of fit and form and you'll you'll enjoy them for a lot longer period uh, especially like during a workout or sitting at a desk uh, in that type of a thing or taking a long walk so uh, next we're going to talk about the audio characteristics of each of these pieces and what we believe is to be our strength is audio and that's what we are as an audio company first and foremost we don't you know we don't maybe have all the bells and whistles of a crazy 3D rendered video or anything like that to wow you, but what we want to tell you and teach you is how to enjoy audio. And I think again, it starts with the fact that when you look at all the earbuds that are here on the table, we really are mindful of a uh, fit to the human ear. And that's where our Comfort Max ear tips really come in handy. So we include the small, medium, and large, and none of the other ones do. They all include just a really basic silicone tip um, that over time is going to have issues and uh, also not going to seal as well uh, immediately out of the box. Um, the next thing that we want to do is, is look at the cases. We actually give you over 24 hours of charging and that's our minimum rated that you're going to get on one single case. So every single case that's here um, featured does not give you that. I mean, I think we're talking about 10 hours at most on uh, each of these different cases. And 
What that means for you is that if you forget to charge it with ours, um, you can probably go for a whole week worth of workouts and use. I mean, who's gonna listen to you know over 30 hours of, of playback over that whole week? So we're really giving you a lot of room for air in terms of room for uh, forgetting to charge your device. Whereas these guys, if you forget to charge it, you may not actually get to have a nice gym um, use uh, where you gotta end up having to listen to the gym music instead of your own tunes um, uh, when you're working out. So uh, that's, a, that's a really big key feature. And I wanna point out one other feature with the case that's probably overlooked a lot by many. So the RAID Max actually has, a, has external charging like the NVX uh, N8s, but the Enact Fire does not. It only will accept a charge and it will not charge another device. And then lastly, the Tozos, same concept. It does not have any sort of external charging capabilities. It only will accept a charge. Uh, so that's pretty much, uh, I guess, hook, line, and sinker, if you ask me, in terms of our case uh, being superior than that of the competition, the form factor being superior. And I think the last and biggest quality, obviously, is the controls. I mean, if you look at the, the way that the Inac Fire is set up with a push button. Um, it's it's really, a, it, from a tactical standpoint, it's obviously helpful to get the response, but from a waterproof, water resistant, and even just dirt, fungus, whatever you wanna call it, bacteria, it, this is not gonna withstand the, uh, the, the times of use that you're gonna want uh, with your earbud. In terms of the Raid Max and the Tozo, um, they both do offer um, the swipe and the touch controls that we offer, um, and that's nice, and we recommend that. Uh, but apart from, from that, audio, they leave a lot lacking, especially on the lower and middle frequencies. So uh, we really hope you'll give ours a, a shot. We really hope you enjoy them when you get them. And if you have any questions or any concerns, our US-based tech support, our US-based customer service is here to help you. Um, we, uh, we really appreciate you stopping by to watch this video. Thank you and have a great day.